Our first question today is from Daniel. What a lovely name. How do you teach people to lower the weight when doing repetition, barbell cleans, or snatches? In the cases where you do not want to drop to the floor. Well, that's that's interesting because then you know, I'll go to these modern gyms, especially some of these uh, workout that shall not be named sites that I believe they call their work gyms boxes because, you know, gym is just not cool enough. Um, and they drop every lift. I mean, if they've got 30 kilos on the bar, they drop it like it's a world record. And if you have the bumper plates and stuff, that's fine. The amount of damage over time, though, it really does do a lot. I grew up when we had iron plates. And if you dropped the weight a lot in warm-ups, there would be no platform. And you would have your neighbors would come over and complain. And let me tell you one thing. My mom would complain. And you, uh, she scares me now when she's been gone for 41 years. Um, the way I always lowered it was the way Dick taught us. Um, basically... Um, Dick Notmeyer's approach. So in the clean and jerk, you bring it to the chest and then you slough it off. You kind of catch it at mid thigh and you bring it gently to the floor. That's how you lowered the weight in the clean and jerk. But in the snatch, the way we did it was this. At the finish of the snatch, we kind of shrug, caught it down here, down here to the floor. So um, it was kind of cool at the time to watch guys like David Rieger, the great Soviet uh, middleweight, basically, lifter. Middle heavy, I should say, 198 lifter, mostly in his career. Watching him bring down world records and then just gently put it on the floor. I love that, you know, because it showed such a mastery of the weight. Um, somebody told me at the last weightlifting meet that they have new rules in Olympic lifting that you actually have to, you actually have to drop the bar now, which I think is just stupid. And I guess you can't put your foot on the bar and it's like, Whatever, you know, I, I, I'm fine. But that's how I do it, Daniel. And, you know, I think there's value in learning to lower the bar quietly. Um, you can call it eccentric training, but I just think it, A, it keeps your family and friends and neighbors happier. And B, um, it's just so much easier on the equipment. But, you know, your mileage may vary, as we sometimes say online. I hope that helps. Thank you.